Hey guys, Supervisor Team here. And in this video, I'm going to showcase the process of labeling medical videos using neural networks. The showcase will consist of three parts, which are also three annotation types, uh, which are a rectangle, polygon, and masks. But before we do that, I would like to show you how to deploy a neural network on your device in order to use it actually in the platform. So first off, we need to go to the start button, start menu, and find here neural networks. In the running tab, you can see all the neural networks that are currently deployed on your device. For this video, I will need two types of neural networks to be deployed on my device. So let's find them. First is tracking. We need to go to videos and find detection and tracking. So uh, here we have several categories for these neural network applications. Uh, first is train, second is surf, uh, then the inference interfaces, and lastly, machine learning tools. We need a surf category. So here we have quite a few uh, models. I will choose, for example, mixed form object tracking. Let's click run app, uh, go to the advanced, advanced settings, and if you have several agents connected to your platform, uh, you will need to choose one of them. In my case, I have my own computer connected to the platform. Uh, by the way, I did a tutorial on how to connect your computer to the Supervisely. Uh, you can watch it on our YouTube channel. So select your desired agent and click Run. Then close this window and easy as that, we have Mixformer deployed on our device. I actually now have two of them. We can stop one of them. So let's head over to the medical data itself. All right, so here I have some medical data and I'm going to demonstrate you the three annotation types on these videos. All right, so let's start with rectangle. So here I have the video and I need to label this object. Let's select the rectangle tool, also known as bounding box, and label the first frame by hand. And then the neural network will do the rest of the job for us. It will track this object automatically. So let's press the track settings button and select the object tracking neural network that we deployed earlier. And let's adjust the number of frames that we need to track. I'll leave it on default. Let's press track button. All right, so the tracking process is complete. Let's see the results. Let me actually adjust the playback speed so we can see clearer. Let's set it to 30% and play the current labeled segment. All right, so as you can see, it tracked really precise and I don't need to adjust anything. Let's just uh, track another 50 frames. All right, let's see the result. Again, it tracked really precise and pretty much perfect. Uh, as you can see, we managed to get 100 frames labeled in under two minutes. It is really efficient and much, much better than labeling all these 100 frames by hand. All right, let's move on to the next type of annotation. All right, so the next type of annotation is polygon. It is quite similar to the rectangle, uh, the procedure itself. So let's grab a polygon tool and segment this object. All right, so I have segmented this object. Uh, again, we have to go to track settings tab and select object tracking neural network uh, of your choice. I have uh, several of them deployed currently on my device. I'll go with tapnet and let's Let's actually go 100 frames and uh, let's see how that works. All 
All right, let's see what we've got. Uh, as you can see, it, it tracked pretty good, except for the parts when the knife comes into the frame. But otherwise than that, it did a pretty good job. And if we are not satisfied with the result, we can always uh, select the polygon and readjust it a little bit and track, uh, let's say, 10 frames ahead from that, retrack it. And we should get a little bit better of a result. All right, now to the masks. All right, so the last type of annotation that I'm going to showcase today is the masks, or also known as bitmap. So the algorithm of tracking objects on videos with bitmaps is quite different. Let me show it to you. So first we need to grab a smart tool. Then we need to go to the ID tab and select the deployed interactive segmentation model or smart tool. Uh, I'm gonna go with rhythm and then we need to place our object into a bounding box like that. And then we need to place uh, positive and negative points. Uh, so we need to place a positive point on the object. And if we see some artifacts like this couple of pixels, we need to grab a negative point and place it here. So the model can predict better. Now we need to go to the settings and uh, turn clone figure on right arrow setting. And now we just need to select the bitmap and press right arrow. It will drag the same uh, bounding box and points to the next frame. So the neural network can make a prediction on the next frame. We can do this a couple of times and see. Yeah, sometimes if you do it too fast, uh, the smart tool couldn't keep up with it, but it's okay. So let's wait, go next frame, next frame. And if we see some artifacts, we can place additional negative or positive points to uh, improve the predictions. Uh, for example, now I have some sort of corner missing. I can just drag the bounding box to the right and you see it fixed itself. So let's keep doing that until we get some substantial amount of frames. All right, so now I have some a couple of hundred frames labeled like this and we'll just see the result. Let's adjust the playback speed, set it to 30% and press play segment button. All right, so as you can see, the interactive segmentation models like Rhythm, ClickSec and others are doing really good job when it comes to object detection and helping the user solve this task quickly and efficiently. All right, so the last thing that I want to show you today is video tagging. But first, to tag a video, we need to create a tag. So as you can see uh, here in this section, it says that we have no tags currently. So we need to press edit button. And here we need to click create new tag. So let's now set the tag name. I'm gonna call my text team. Uh, we can set a hotkey or a specific color if we need that. And the most important thing we need to set a value type for this uh, specific video I need a non type tag. So let's click save. All right, so now head over to the video annotation tool and uh, refresh the page. So as you can see uh, here, now we have a tag steam. Uh, we can press mark frames. Okay, now we can press select and select all the frames that has steam on them. I think that's it. Now I can press tag. And just like that, we've got video tagged. Let's play. And as you can see in the top left corner, it says Steam. That's it. So that was the three annotation types and some ways to work with them. If you enjoyed the results, 
that I've managed to achieve. You can go to Supervisely and try out for yourself. That is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.